having. So yeah, I was thinking, what should I talk about? You know, my third upload. I mean, I can go and go so far, right? Three days in uh, the same venue, office space, if you will. Obviously, the plan is to you know broaden the horizons of uh, my channel. Only just started, but uh, I mean, obviously, you know, being at home consistently, unless I have to do essential stuff, there's not much that can be done until things get back to normal. So, throughout the course of uh, my vlogging uh, career on YouTube, I aim to show, you know, different locations, different, uh, you know, appetites. And I have, um, you know, my collections of, you know, over the years, of different uh, artifacts, if you will. So I think it would be a good time to talk a little bit about, uh, you know, historicals with, uh, with, with Thursday. Thursday, of course, uh, some call it uh, Throwback Thursday. So, in that sense, going back on a throwback by going forward to tomorrow. Tomorrow Thursdays, the Thursdays of tomorrow are pretty much stay at home Thursdays. So, on a little throwback, I'll talk about uh, the history of uh, my soccer team why it means a lot to me and how it's going to be in the future so my last year Concordia you know wanted to uh, play soccer again I've said this story many times to you know the good friends who I still play soccer with and those who have well I don't play soccer anymore but became you know good friends brothers or sisters over the years many different cases many different senses so I graduated in Korea in 2010 and um, of course there's so much to talk about in my history but I'll make it you know short enough for this video <laughs> the way it started was um, you know I haven't been playing sports throughout you know my my Korea life uh, three and a half years over there and um, was my graduating year, graduating semester, and I, you know, the friends at the time asked them if they want to play some soccer, make a team in the school league, and uh, yeah, if you got a few, they got their friends of friends, and then you know it was a run of muck team that you know ended up losing every single game of the season, and uh, it was a futsal league. So futsal is you know indoor soccer. It's more popular in. Uh, South American countries and well, or European countries, um, with actual professional leagues. So we weren't very good in futsal, and futsal is a pain if you know if if you don't uh, if you know if you want to run around and get sweaty without any like uh, fresh air. Because the diff when you play futsal, in my my personal opinion, playing futsal and playing soccer on turf grass is completely different because you get tired well i would get tired a lot easier in futsal just because you're indoors and you're sweating all the time and you also have to rely a lot on you know dribbling with trickery and uh, really have a good team for that because if you have a team where not everyone reads each other in futsal like i mean you can grow as a team in different divisions and like there's lower divisions too but futsal the only way to be good at futsal is everyone has to be good and you gotta always practice with each other all the time, time. So it was, we did it for one season and then after that, uh, the following seasons at Concordia and other leagues uh, throughout the years, seven aside or 11 aside, uh, we played only on grass, artificial grass and real grass. And uh, we grew as a team, you know? We grew as a team uh, that enabled us to get six trophies yeah. three different types of formats in different leagues tournaments and uh, charity tournaments um yeah and shorter seasons 
So it definitely was uh, a great experience. I mean, until this whole lockdown, but uh, soccer is going to be, you know, in my day to day life uh, until like still in my early 30s. So I'm going to be playing soccer for years to come. And uh, because of soccer, you know, it uh, developed me as an athlete. stronger as a person. Um, introduced me to some of my closest friends. Um, hundreds of players have played for my team. It's called Elite FC, Elite Football Club. I'm the captain, founder of the team as well. And uh, I would do dinners with my, my team, like after every season, or and we would do like Christmas dinners, we would do a, a team anniversary dinner. Because uh, we started January 13, 2010. So I always do a team dinner with Blast from the Past, current teammates, brothers and sisters, you know, just to celebrate. Closer to the date, usually on a Friday or Saturday. We go to a nice steakhouse, like I said, love steak, oysters, all, all that good stuff. And, um, and that was that, you know, like uh, already six minutes into this video. But there's a lot more to say. And to bring up to speed, my last game of 2020 uh, so far was uh, me getting injured. So that was actually the worst injury I've had in the last 10 years. Because I don't get injured often in soccer. I mean, I'll get sprains or, you know, like uh, bruises here and there. But um, I, had, I had an injury that knocked me out and where I took part getting stitches on my uh, lower lip but uh, that's done and done that was back in early March and I was out for the rest of the season after that but lo and behold the week after we won I wasn't there I was injured it took me about 20 days to recover um, where you would not notice anything and then after that the week after that that's when all the leagues were shut down in the province of Quebec and sports leagues, anything public in general, and that's, you know, when this whole uh, partial lockdown uh, commenced in the mid, uh, mid-March. So yeah, you know, can't wait to play soccer again once things get back to normal, but not sure when it's gonna happen again, but hopefully, you know, in July. So I'll keep you posted. Other than that, um, you know, staying positive. You know, I'm not just thinking about the future. And um, stay tuned. It's gonna be a ride.